Hello! Uh, today I'm trying out something that I just heard about recently and I couldn't believe I had never heard of it before because it's something I've been trying to kind of figure out for myself for a while. Um, while I cut this, I'm going to tell you, first of all, this is um, the foldout that you saw, I think it was still, it was, no, two weeks ago in my 2020 setup. This is the foldout that I use for um, my, uh, what was it? My, my Hogwarts stuff. That's what it is. And so I'm using, I've sized it up and I'm going to be using it today for what I'm doing here. So, um, for the month of December, partly because I wanted to be really on top of it and partly because I hadn't set up my 2020 with all of the January stuff yet, I've been using a Google Sheets spreadsheet to keep track of my upcoming videos and blog posts and when I can be working on them and you know because I'm trying to get ahead this is from like actually from Thanksgiving through Christmas and New Year's and all of this I don't want to be working on editing a video or filming a video like on a holiday so I'm trying to get ahead beforehand this is not the straightest fold I've ever done um and so that's what I've been doing it's been like Every line vertically is a day and then every column is a project and I will like highlight the column when I'm working on it. Well, then I recently found out about a thing called a Gantt chart and apparently this is not new at all. This is something that I probably should have heard of but since it's not like trendy, it's just something that like actual people who do like business projects, you know, project manager people actually use this strategy. Um, what this is, is a chart. Well, okay, obviously. Uh, let's see, I'm reading this from Wikipedia. I read Wikipedia so you don't have to. Henry Gantt, born 1861, died 1919, designed the chart between around the years of 1910 to 1915. So, he's the one who designed this and we're going to be using it today. Um, I'm going to be trying this out as a way to keep track of working on my projects in this guy, which I showed you last week. So check out that video as well. Um, this is my content calendar. Her name is Hermione. And it's a little happy planner. So we're all punched and ready to go. The idea of this, and I'm doing it this way so I have plenty of room across the top that I'll be doing in this way. Is I'm going to put dates this way and projects this way. So I'm just using this blank grid. It could probably be better in like maybe a monthly foldout, but I want it to be longer than a month. So I, I went with this triple foldout. Uh, let's go ahead and give one, two, three, four, five columns, and then I will put the dates across the top in here. So I'm just doing this on camera because I may as well get some content out of it. And this way you get to see what it looks like before it's like important that you can't see it. Because I like keeping surprises from you as to what's actually going on. Uh, and what videos you can expect. And I'm just writing numbers in a line here. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> How perfect is it that I didn't plan that at all? That uh, January ends on this page and then February starts here. And then I'm going to highlight my weekends. Let's do it this way. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday the 4th, yeah. doesn't look atrocious and you guys are probably never gonna see it again after this anyway so there we go and then across this column here which should I delineate maybe maybe not it doesn't matter it does not matter I'm going to put the we should I highlight these two I should highlight them too all right 
Thursday videos, Sunday videos, uh, and blog posts. So I'm just going to put down here like all of these videos in order, basically. So the very first one here is a Thursday video on the second. So it's green. It's the very first thing due in January, so. And then I think maybe I'll put a, a square around the day when it's due over here. So this Thursday video is due on the 30th. And this newsletter is due on the 29th. So the idea here is to be able to visualize how far in advance I should be working on stuff. And I don't yet, like, I, I will definitely be updating you at some point as to whether this works or not. Today I'm just setting it up. Um, and do, if you have uh, used Gantt charts before in your work or wherever, um, do let me know how they work for you. Um, as I get closer to the end of February and start planning out my February stuff, I'll also move this way um, so that I can start working on my February videos in January. Um, that is the thing that is always a little bit tricky is planning that transition between months um, where part of it, it's like you're not thinking about the next month because you don't have your monthly set up yet. But then on the other hand, if you don't think about it now, it's going to be crazy stressful at the beginning of the month while you're like, oh, I should have been working on this stuff all this time. So this is the idea. I guess maybe I can tell you what a couple of these are. Actually, you know what? When is this video even coming out? Yeah, you're watching this on the 9th. So you already know what this video is about. Uh, last yesterday, Wednesday, was a blog post. Did I remember what that was? Yeah. Why does this feel like it's so... Okay. This is the blog post about resolutions. And then uh, last Sunday was a vlog. And then last Thursday was this content planner. So there you go, you get to see some of it. And so I guess I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna be doing this. I was gonna use a highlighter, but there's so many highlighters here already. So I'm filming this like before Christmas because I wanna get ahead on stuff and because I figured I may as well film it being set up. Um, and I've already, like outlined this blog post um, and I've already filmed this video as well. So, I mean, do I just put a line? Do I put the gray again? Because blue means something though. Brown, no, I'll use gray. All right, so I'll just put like a highlight here. The holiday debrief video. I already have a plan. I was gonna film that on Oh, the 20th. No, on the 2nd. I was going to film that on the 2nd. So, I can start highlighting from there. That's the idea, is like, I'll film this the day that I'm back from my vacation. Um, resolutions I've already started working on as well, so. So you see how this is going to work. It'll be like a little staircase down the way. Um, have I started working on next? Oh, no, I have not. When was I going to film that? Maybe on the, yeah, on the 6th, maybe. All right, I think I'm gonna start filming this video on the 6th. Or start working on this next week. So that's an example as well. 
So yeah, that, I guess this is where I am. I'm being honest and I'm being unedited and you get to just sort of see where this is going to start. And then at some point when it has become a system, I will let you know. But for now, it's just sort of a way to visualize things um, instead of using a uh, Google Sheet, which works fine, I guess. But I kind of like the idea of having it on paper, maybe just because that's the kind of channel this is. So if I'm not planning on paper, what's the point? Um, so there we go. I hope you found that interesting, maybe informative, maybe thought provoking. If you have any thoughts that have been provoked, do let me know down in the comments below. If you've ever used a Gantt chart before, or if you find it to be a useful tool for you, then let me know that as well. If there are any tips or tricks that you have, um, let me know that. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> I haven't told you what that is yet. It's going to be a bedtime book review, so enjoy that when it comes. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you later. Bye! Thank you.